All right, well, I'm still working with this uh, idea of capturing uh, ambient energy in your home, uh, one form or another. And my, my uh, light-powered uh, one is still running uh, quite nicely after about a month. But I built this. Uh, I call it the energy detector. And it's a variation of Laser Saber's crossover circuit that uses a Darlington pair, which gives you a lot of sensitivity. And I discovered that these switching diodes, these 1N914s or 1N4148s, can get a reverse sensitivity to them if you get them near an energy source, be it infrared light, uh, laser light, um, regular uh, flashlight light, or even a wall outlet or the power cord off of your 110 devices will trigger this backwards and cause this circuit to run and flash that LED. And uh, I worked with this for about a week. And you have to have these components. It won't work otherwise. Uh, the transformer can be a number of different things. I used that idea that some of the guys tried where you take the inductor out of a CFL and wrap a primary on it. And uh, this is the little uh, circuit right there. This was the magic component, though. This little 1N914 um, or or 1N4148, I did not know that it was that sensitive to a laser light, infrared from a TV remote, heat, flashlight, or ambient solar light, or a wall outlet. Let me show you how it works. I'll give it some juice here with a 9-volt battery. Load up that capacitor. Now you notice nothing's happening here. I'll put a radio up here so you can hear it. If I touch this component here, this will go. If I put a flashlight near it, it'll go. If I use a laser light near it, it'll go. If I use a TV remote with an infrared, you're going to hear that on the radio too, but watch the light. Now, the other thing was I can use a wall outlet, which I thought was very, very strange. Probably can't see that very well because of the light. That's the wall outlet right there, the switch. Now the other thing was the cable from a computer, a switch mode uh, computer power supply, it'll make it go. And these are all things in our home that are acting on that circuit to cause it to work. So I thought that was very interesting, but the most interesting thing I discovered today was heat. I had no idea that component was sensitive to heat. Let me load this up with a little bit more juice so I can show it to you here. Get a little bit more power. That's only a thousand microfarad caps, so it doesn't hold a lot. This isn't generating energy here. This is just energy that's affecting the circuit, but it is energy that's in the house. And this was the heat. Watch this. That says the heat drains off. This should stop here. Okay, it stopped. Now I can make it go again if I hit it with some light. Anyway, I thought that was kind of an interesting little device. Uh, I don't know exactly the dynamic of why it's working, but uh, very sensitive to a lot of different uh, things. So if you want to make one of these, uh, give it a go. Uh, I'm Lid Motor, and this is the 19th of December 2012, and that's my energy detector, and it's a spin-off of my non-stop running device that is at one month as of tomorrow. 
Thanks for watching.